They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black can. <laughs> I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared to leave. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs>
and then jumped right into that like nothing happened. But here's the thing, though, because when I asked you before we went to go see it, they were like, this is the longest John Wick movie ever. It was, what, two hours, 40-something? Two hours, 45 minutes. That didn't feel like two hours. It didn't. That... Because you're so immersed in the story. Right. That didn't feel like two hours and 45 minutes. You're so immersed minutes. in the story. So, because it was it was that it, it was that good, like you're paying attention to every detail mm-hmm. because every detail could, um, every minute detail can help uh, push the story forward. It, it did really well. But I think I can understand why. Because, like, I feel like in this, they started really introducing some outlandish characters. Yes, and that's where the comedic part started coming <laughs> right. in. Right, I'm like, wait a like, second, because it's like they kept they were world building, but they felt like they kept adding more branches of to like the high what table type was, of yeah. It's like the high table was the <laughs> it top. almost it was on the cusp of becoming some GI Joe type. But that's what I'm saying, like, like GI Joe villains or something. Like the high table was the top, and then below the high table you had uh, the marquee, and then the, below the marquee. You had the the content the 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 managers of the continent. The continental. Then of course you had the assassins, and it's like there's levels to this shit. So it's like, is there anybody higher than the the the, the high table? The high table, or is the high table like the, what does the pinnacle? The what peak? what what does the high table really control? Yeah, because remember when he went? Remember saying? when he went to the desert in the third film? Right. To cut off his uh his finger mm-hmm. so he can be free, or um so the contract can be broken. Right. But it meant nothing. Like, who are these assassins, like, assassinating? Like, just regular Joe Schmoes exactly. or, like, world leaders? And if that's the case, does that mean the high table controls the world? Probably. You see what I'm saying? They have a branch in every, right. every continent. You see what I'm saying? So it was just like, hmm. Like, that's why I was like, ah, they were kind of teetering on some, like, G.I. Joe shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, but they ended it just in time. Well, it, it, with the fact, too, that it, the way they uh, were ridiculously being killed was funny that as was hell. That was insane. Like, we, were, we weren't... I know it's horrible to laugh when somebody dies, but in the, the film... The thing that separated... The thing that separated, I think, this movie from Parabellum, the third movie was so much more darker. It was more serious, yeah. It was more serious. You see what I'm saying? This one was just like... We're at the home stretch. You're essentially Godzilla. Mm-hmm. You're like the Terminator. Yeah, he understands the reality. He right. How you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, let's have fun with it. You know? Like, he's unstoppable. Let's have fun with it. And and they they really did. They really did. It, it was it was funny. But it was funny because <laughs> what, Skyler, what Skyler said was true, which they did in all three films, so mm-hmm. it's not like we're ruining it at all. It's like they had the bulletproof suits. But yeah, the, that's one thing I'll never understand. Literally, in my mind, I'm thinking the entire time. Yeah. Like, if you're going to hold... But Batman does that shit, too, Jeff. Yeah. Batman right. does that shit, too, bro. Where he covers Where his... he just covers his... Ca- but it's like the velocity of the bullet. Like, even if it's a Kevlar cape, how much does the cape weigh to just bounce the bullet off. off like yeah. it has to be a heavy ass get like yeah. a, a metal and he uses it to glide so it's not right so how, how really heavy is it is that cape yeah you see what i'm saying so it's like if i shoot a bullet like the velocity of that bullet the force of the bullet's still gonna push through yeah the exactly fucking thing like, unless, it know, like, unless it like solidifies when you stretch that's it that's why i don't fuck it up. and that's, that's why i'm me. like G.I. Joe shit. You yeah, gotta exactly. be careful. Yeah. You gotta be careful. And I think that's why he ended it with yeah. that. Yeah. I think that's why he ended it like, with that. They're like, let's just save the most ridiculous shit for the end. Mm-hmm. And then we're done. No more. Yep. No more. You know what I'm saying? No more. It's like uh, it's like uh, Thor 1 and 2 took themselves way too seriously. So people were like, fuck it. I'm not even gonna go see the third one. You and I take that chance. We go watch it in theaters. And Thor Ragnarok ended up being a phenomenal film. It yeah, because Thor's was, a freaking he's idiot. A god. He's, an, he's idiot. an idiot, but he's also a he's god. He's a god. Yeah, and it's yeah. like I'm a I'm 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 a demigod, but I'm above all people. And but things. he's an idiot. Yeah. First of all, yeah. first and foremost, Thor is an <laughs> idiot. That's why we love Thor. He's a strong ass idiot. Yes. 
That's why he's like technically the. So the, since the elevator moved the hammer, does that really count? Is the <laughs> elevator chosen? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Amazing. Like, so it's just shit like that. That's, yeah. that. that's why I can understand why people didn't give a fuck about the first or second mm-hmm. third. Because it was just like they tried to ground him in human. Ma- make him serious. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bro, get the fuck out of here. And his arrogance is the reason why he is who he, he is. He is who he is. Like, exactly. I like that. Like, he's so confident in himself mm-hmm. even when he's wrong he's confident exactly in his so because you could just lightning that bitch away yeah <laughs> so that's that's amazing i know that um i know that uh we did talk about going to go see mario you know since we we grew up watching it uh, we grew up playing it and we saw the original film the mario brothers movie was it I thought actually, it was a show, a TV show. It was a TV. It, they, they did the movie first, and then they turned the to a TV into show. Into a TV but show. But the TV show had the one the guys from the movie, but it would just jump into a, a animation style type thing. Right. Yeah. It was all animated. Mm-hmm. The TV show, but the intro was yes. the movie guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So I know we did talk about going to see that, but no, but no, the film was very good. Um, I really liked the direction that he went. I really like how he. He put an, uh, put a, a good into the epic conclusion, and it was satisfying. It wasn't it wasn't lackluster. It wasn't uh, shortened. It wasn't there was no scapegoat or easy way out. Right, oh, man, or anything like that. And it, it made him work for that shit. Exactly, and this one showed how human he was. I like that because the first the first one was. Oh, we're building this god that cannot be defeated. He went in and murdered and murder and hundreds and right. came out alive. Right. And then they showed you what a revenge spree looks like with John Wick. Like you knew who John Wick was in the first film. The second one was nobody wants to fuck with John Wick, but everyone goes after him. Anyways. After him, yeah, because of that money. <laughs> exactly. Because of that money. Yep. That money, eh? Yeah. And then that the, money, the third yeah. one was like. If we all attack at once, we might not die. <laughs> but you know that never happens. That never happens. So that's crazy. That's crazy. But overall, very good movie. Very good film. Yep. Very good movie. Literally, like we just what was it? we got home? What like thirty minutes ago? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. got home thirty minutes ago, fresh out of our minds. We ate a little bit, then came in here and started recording, but. Just had to let you guys know that that's a film. I would oh, think. what's up? And I got the new frames from twenty thirty five. Them rectangle. Them. I see them. I see the future. The prismatic bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Mm, bam. I, it took a long time because they didn't have anything that can cut corners like this. Yep. So they had to send it to another it's state. It's amazing. Because they sent our glasses to Georgia to get them cut. But see, because they... you look at your glasses and you can tell they're like basic from ten years ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I haven't put on my new ones yet. But my shit's from the future, bro. I got that hockey. I got that kata curry. That foresight. That's what people wear. <laughs> I got that shanks, bro. That's what people that? wear, Jeff. That's what people are wearing in the future. Dude, this looks awesome. I love these, man. These look so cool. I'm going to call them prismatic bullshits. Prismatic <laughs> bullshits. What the fuck? I hope they make cooler looking glass. Like some... Fucking kaleidoscope glasses, and it's and it's cool because the the giant frames always fit your face well. Like because I got a big ass face, I got a big ass head, Jeff. Yeah, if it's if it's well with your face, you don't realize how big my cranium is. I got a xenomorph head, <laughs> bro. That's just crazy. I don't know about that. That's crazy. I remember first time I realized that I was after um after you watch Aliens one. No, when they three. shaved my head, it was like when I was really young. And I had really bad dandruff. And then uh, Gervais came and he shaved my head clean bald. Oh, yeah. And it was white, clean white stuff bald. Everywhere. Yeah, clean bald. He's like, we got to shave your head because you have dandruff in there. That we had like, to treat it. Yeah. All right. And I took a side profile of my head and I saw the back of my head like extend like those old CRT TVs. Like the fucking <laughs> Philips or Panasonic, oh, the Magnavox shit. TVs. And I was like, damn, I can never go bald. So you got a perfect bald head. Like, your shit looks like that. You see what I'm saying? You got a nice hat head. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up. My flat ass thumb. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, got my nice glasses. Was, oh, yeah, been, yeah, yeah. It took three weeks. 
Yeah, they never hit you back. They up never you called up. me. She was sitting there looking for the other ones too. She's like, "Yeah, the other ones haven't came in yet." And we're like, "No, they're on his face." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I thought that. I felt bad because she was just looking and looking, and I'm like, maybe she just couldn't find the pair. No, she already found these. She was just looking for. She the was looking second. for the second. But I was yeah. like, yeah, I came here like two and a half weeks ago and got my first pair. You guys said you were gonna call me, but you never did. Yeah. So, here we are. Here we are. I love these. And I and they finally gave me one of those uh, microfiber cloths. Because the first one, they didn't give me a microfiber cloth. And it was just like... It was that lady that said my face was symmetrical. She's like, here. That's wild, bro. Y'all look delicious here. <laughs> you what? <laughs> you look delicious. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Jeff. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. He's like, I'm done with you. It never ends. It never ends. It never Come ends. Come on, man. What'd you expect? It never ends. What'd you expect? Save me. Help me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mama. Help me. Oh, man. Oh, so we started watching The Man from the Sky. What? The guy who came to Earth? The man who fell to Earth. That. Yes. Man. Didn't watch the first episode. Not going to watch it. Well, like I said, it was just him talking and then telling his backstory. Nope, that's fine. I'll just watch the backstory. You are watching the backstory. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So uh -huh. now, because I started on episode two or near the end of episode two. No, you're in the middle. I was in the middle. Okay. So the middle of episode two. And I have no idea who this guy is, what he is, what he does. Mm -hmm. But through watching the backstory, excluding the first episode, it'll just impact me a lot more. Why do you say that? Because I still don't know where he's from. I don't know what the... Because you know the beginning episode will show you what planet they're from. No, nope. they didn't know? show me that either. Okay, all right, all right. Summarize the first episode for me. All right, so basically... Um... He was going to un uh, unveil a new technology. He says they call him the tech god. They call mm -hmm. him this or that. He learned how to speak English, Earth lingo. But he was basically, um, they basically showed him coming to Earth, crash landing on Earth. Mm -hmm. And then the cops pulled him over. And then all he kept asking was for Justin Falls, which was her, the scientist that that um, accidentally hurt her, her lover uh, with the radiation uh, fusion thing. And... Uh, all he wanted her to do is take her to Seattle. So this man threw up gold so he can get some money because he needed the money to build a machine that can send a signal to where he needed to go. So essentially, it was just kind of him coming to Earth and then finding Justin. Justin Fall. Justin Fall. Yes. And then that's when I started the second episode, but I had to go to work. Because, but it was literally like early in, like probably 10 minutes in. So pretty much what I've gotten from this whole show, which I think is amazing. He's black Jesus. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. The things this man can do. I don't even think like. With his skin. Like suit. you can't even classify him as like an organic life form. He's I don't, I don't even know what it is. Being. I don't even know what it is. I'm not even going to say that. I can't even say that because he's tapping into dimensions to provide power source. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't know what it is. Yeah. He's smart. He needs water. For his planet. But, I don't know, it's just weird. It's like biotech. Like, advanced biotech. Yeah. Do you think that's the next step? I think so. Because he's able to literally create gold. But he then again, he even said himself, though, um, that anything that I'm showing you right now is like hundreds of years away centuries. from... Centuries. Centuries. Well, that's the same thing. Hundreds of years uh, uh, away from you guys even conceptualizing this yeah. stuff. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like in that aspect, the future is way too uncertain to even. I don't know. No, I agree, man. Sometimes you just don't know. You just don't know. But go ahead, continue. You're talking about the show. But what, yeah, what man, it's so man. cool. Yeah, like I thought it was gonna be some like crazy, you know. Yeah, um, what was the expectation? My expectation was gonna be it was gonna be some nerdy science alien tech 
fucking are we alone type shit. Was it like similar to Kyle XY? Oh, I never watched Kyle XY. Really? I never did. It's a good show. I couldn't get into it. I watched the first episode. The only thing I knew about him, he didn't have a belly button because they made a big deal about it. No, it was a good show, but the only thing that sucks is they canceled it when they got to the good part. So I'm not going to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know that. Oh, It's the same thing with Angel. I re- I no, it. that was crazy. They fucked up. That was a violation. That was a no. ultra violation. No, what did they do? Run into the alley? Alley, and then, and then it, all it, the it, monsters it, were coming? That's crazy. That's, that's crazy. And all of a sudden, he... Yeah. And then, because uh, I know when they ended Angel, Buffy was still going. That's so, true. So he'd randomly appear on Buffy. On Buffy, that's tragic. I'm like, bro, so how did you survive? That's tragic. What, what show was he on before Bones? It was a police show. I thought Bones was it. Really? Yeah. No, I feel like he was in another show before Bones. Buff, uh, Buffy the Vampire, so it was the first show he was it on. It was Buffy, Angel. Then he transitioned to Angel, and then Bones went on for 12 years. No, there was another show. There's another show. I'm going to Google. His name is David something. Yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. His name is David something. Uh... Would he be David Borean? Yeah. Boreanis. Bet. Let me click on bro. And then we're going to look at... Mm-hmm. I think that's it. Word? He already found it? No, I think that's the only thing he's ever been on. Um... Mm-mm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I told you. Yeah, because so, Missy, okay. Angel is 2004 after it was done. Bones, right. 2005 to 2017. So right. he's been on Bones the entire time. Okay, because I figured there was there was a show where he was like a detective or some shit like that. All right, I feel yeah. it. I feel it. Yeah, man. Um. So, yeah, I thought it was... The expectation was, okay, I like watching Alien sci-fi stuff like that and yeah. technology and futurists and stuff but like the more i kept watching it didn't go that route man it was different it was like they were teaching this alien to be human like the human condition the human experience because they've advanced so far that they've advanced so far that there's no such thing as like dreaming Dreaming. There's no such thing as emotion. Emotion. There's no such thing as uh, um, violence. There's no such thing as... Discrimination. There's no hate. There's no... Like, because there was one line that he said. He said, what is this feeling? Because I guess this is the first time he felt sadness. Mm -hmm. And he said, what is this feeling? And she said something. But then he said... The thing is, my people, we understand each other. We don't endure each other. Exactly. I was like, oh. That was deep. Oh, okay. Sensational. Sensational. I was like, okay, okay. That was deep. Now I know what kind of show this is. Yep. So, like you said, it was it was basically having him understand what they forgot. Like, even music. It, it was any, some... Philo- it was, it's... it's it's some philosophical shit. Yeah, it's like in every alien show that you watch, it's like music is the first thing that they're astonished by because they've advanced so far that they don't need it. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then when they discover it, it's like, oh my God, this is amazing. Why is my body moving like this? It was like Kyle XY. It was like Roswell, the old show from the 90s. It was the same thing with this one, The Man Who Fell to Earth. It's I like, think... I think... Sorry, Dan. No, you're good. I think the, the, the reason... Like, I like... Like shows like that or movies like that. Uh, what was that movie with um, what's her name from Superman and the Office? Contact? No. Uh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, where they were sending her messages like through time, through her dreams, and her kid, all at once throughout her entire life. It's not signs, it's... Contact. It has to be contact. When that freaking pod came. Remember those weird black ink looking aliens? Hold on. 
Uh, Arrival. 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 Yeah. Like that. That's a good movie. I like that. Yeah. Or it's like understanding, like, your place. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. understand. Like, stuff like that. You know? Like, philosophical shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the tech, science, alien movies, like, Wolf, uh, Raised by Wolves mm-hmm. and stuff like that. That's cool. But it was even... But... The, this show wasn't even focused on It wasn't that. focused on that. It wasn't even focused on the technology part. Like, he... And he literally said, too, if I don't... You're, you, the the destruction of your planet has begun and it will start 2030. Right. And so that's why she said, if you get the blueprint, if we help you build it, can you leave the blueprint with us so we can save the planet? Save ourselves. And he's like, yeah, as sure. long as you continue to be a scientist again. So it's it, it's yeah, but can we save ourselves? He can, his people can. His people can. She just needs the blueprint because they're united in one goal. That's true. That's true. Okay. And that's the thing. And it's like, who's gonna make the most money or gain from that technology? Right. Exactly. And that's gonna. That's do. where you're already seeing the path go down. The, the, or it's like for him. Logically, it's just give me the thing. I'll save my people, and then you have the blueprint, and then you save your people. But no, it's politics, it's money, it's power, mm-hmm. it's black market deals, black market who, societal goes. collapse. Yeah, you know, revolting. Like it's it's that's crazy, man. That's crazy. That's tough. That's tough. I love humanity, but damn, it's stubborn sometimes. Well, it's like um. It's like what happened on Doctor Who when they found out that our moon was a giant egg. What happened? When Doctor Who gave it a choice, when when Doctor Who said, you guys have a choice, let it hatch, um, and and because its species is essentially extinct. Oh, I said destroy that shit. Or destroy that shit. Yeah. And then they're like, no, destroy it. Destroy that shit. And he's like, you guys, humans are stupid. He let it hatch. And what did it do? It laid another egg or a moon moon just to replace it. It did. (laughs) Said, no, destroy that shit. What the fuck? I don't understand it. Kill it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. That's crazy. Selfish. Kill it. Selfish. That's crazy to me. But I can't say that I wouldn't say or think like that if I was in that position, too. Especially if I thought... Our well, it's because we're thinking like humans. Yeah. That's the problem. Our only reference point is us, us. Jeff. So we base everything... Everything. That's, that's not under... Because we're freaking monkeys with guns. We think every alien is a monkey with gun. gun. I got you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's sense. like... We're the only reference point. Like, that's what's tough. There's no other society that we can look at. Like, we write our own history. We lie to ourselves. Mm-hmm. We make bullshit. As I would say, his story. His story. Yeah. Whoever wins. You know, it's his story. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we lie to ourselves and shit like that. We make up, we conjure up things. We set goals for ourselves because that's what we expect the universe expects from us you understand what i'm saying no, see how weird you. that I is hear you. we in, we invented a concept of advancement for us to reach it yet it's a goal we set for ourselves do you think uh, there's no other standard out there in the universe in which we can apply our like compare ourselves to do you think that's why they do you think that's why they burned the Library of Alexandria? What is that? Because context. It, well, in the sense of because whatever mysteries or unique things that were in this world, they didn't want us to know about it, or they didn't think it's bigger humanity, than that. or they didn't no. think humanity wasn't ready. It's bigger than that. Really, it's bigger than okay. that. Okay, it's not even because that's Jeff. Everything you read was created by humans. So they can skew it anyway. Anything that you interact with. Unless we personally travel history ourselves. Right. We will never know. But the only thing that can do that is a higher being. But I'm not even going to go on that track. Mm -hmm. It's just like what you need to understand is like, oh, we create things like a Kardashev scale. You know, 
you're only as advanced as how much energy you consume and what technologies you can produce mm. and how you can manipulate your plant in your solar system. Who else are we looking to to compare ourselves nobody on that else. scale? We created that. Yeah, nobody else. Everything that we're using, we right? Create. Yeah, I see. I hear what you're saying. Like we're like, oh man, we're there's no the, other metric that we can exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh yeah, high tech compared to <laughs> what? No, I hear you. Our own selves. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Our own selves. Like I don't know, man. Like it's that's what's, and that's what I see in this show. It's like, it's another being experiencing what we think like what are yeah. you see what i'm saying like he is it is a different state of being we are human beings but it is whatever it is yeah because they haven't revealed what it is yet. right you know what i'm saying and so, all the all all the things that they dubbed unnecessary to them they let go they let go like you said emotion conflict um but they understand each other yes they do if you understand each other, you can't be mad at each other. Mm-hmm. You can't be, you know what I'm saying? Because no. you understand. Mm. You understand. If I know what makes me angry, I know the feeling of being angry. Why would I make an effort to inflict that same feeling on you? Just so you can feel something. You see what I'm saying? Like I want to feel something. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> So in that sense, that's why I'm interested in the show. Because it's like, okay, I know what it feels like to be human. Mm-hmm. Let's see how, what you experience. Like, for him, he couldn't even, it's like Mob Psycho. Yeah, because he locks all his emotions It was away. just, he felt a emotion, an emotion, and it was just overwhelming for him. Mm-hmm. And he didn't know how to turn it off. He could not turn off his emotions. You see what I'm saying? And that's where... I understood what he meant by, like, we endure each other. Because, like, I can wake up and be annoyed with you. For no reason. For no fucking reason. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Which is pretty stupid. I'd never be annoyed. Well, yeah. But, But like, uh, that's a real thing, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't understand. Like, you know, like, at the end of the day, you're still human. So whatever your state of being is... I could be in that state of being. We're just not in that state of being at the same time. So I understand you being in that state of being. I don't know. That's just crazy. No, no, I hear you, man. I hear you. (laughs) I'm just talking crazy. Don't even listen to me. But, yeah, so I like the show. Um, The guy who came to Earth. The man who fell to Earth. The man who fell to Earth. The man who fell. Yes, it's on Showtime. Who fell from all 10 episodes of season one came out. I don't know if they're gonna do another one, but I think it's probably like a one. Wait, does Showtime have its own streaming platform? Yes, well, no, it doesn't. You just have to go to um Amazon to use Hulu, Hulu or Amazon and jump onto their their little app within the within the program of it. Mm. But no, man, yeah, the episode is very interesting. It's just it's just amazing to see um how they've they they solved everything Word. but how to replicate water for their planet so they need the mind of the smartest scientists on earth to help them do it which is crazy because you're so advanced you're so far removed you forgot that dumb this, math yes exactly like you said because of ai <laughs> because of ai dumb math is going to be rudimentary math is going to be like redundant like no one's going to need to know 2 plus 2 exactly because for all of history, we've learned what 2 plus 2 is. Or, we'll just understand what 2 plus 2 exactly. is. Exactly. And I think that's I think that's what it was. So he basically said, we need to replicate water because our plant's dying. Mm-hmm. So I need your equation because you, it's not that you did you did it wrong. It's just that you don't have the tools from, from not of this earth to, to make it actually work. So for going uh, moving forward from there... I think it's a good show, and I think a lot of people should watch it. Um, hey, I got a question. What's up? I don't know. This is just a question I'm throwing out into the ether. Ether. Um, so if we ever, like, 
finish the standard model equation like what's the point of math like we could just like are we going to be will that just be uh a variable like whatever that equation is Mm -hmm. will that just be reality is plus what can we add realities I don't know. I'm getting yeah. way, I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Yeah. Um. No, that's that's something question. I gotta ask like Neil deGrasse Tyson or something. I'll probably email if it, that yeah, guy. Yeah, if that if that motherfucker or or, email. or PBS Space Time or some shit like that. PBS Space Time. Is like fun. no, seriously, because because like I understand what like the standard model is like essentially breaking down reality, like yep. the universe, everything. You know, so, and there's still some missing variables and things we don't understand, like gravity and dark energy, dark matter. But, like, once we understand that and that thing is complete and we understand all subatomic particles, rudimentary particles. So what's next? Like, what does that become then? Is it just. What? What's next? This reality break? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think I think I, <laughs> the I, space time like fracture just, or something. I just believe we'll just be uh, easily able to navigate anything. You have the equation for reality. I, that's what I'm saying. We'll just be able to really navigate um, our reality, maybe other realities. But you're saying that so casually. Like that's a different existence. I know. <laughs> Do you want me to be like? That's a different existence. You know. You know me. I'm very casual when it comes to certain things. That's like crazy. That. That's a different existence. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I got sidetracked, but no, you're good, man. But um, yeah. Other than that, I mean, nothing really else. Nothing really crazy happened nah. this week. No. Nah. I mean, it's my first day off. I'm chilling. Yeah, I know that there was a. Um, shooting that happened but that's a topic for another time that's a topic for another because that's i gotta collect my thoughts on that yeah that's gotta, uh that's insane yeah but um i don't gotta know. gather my shit on that because that was crazy um so this is gonna be a this is gonna be a short one today sir yeah no 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 yeah i just wanted to get this might be the shortest get one our, done. yeah get our thoughts on there <laughs> But uh, no, it was amazing. Like I said, um, I enjoyed it. Psst, dude, I just want another vacation. <laughs> so I can... Doesn't everybody, Joe? Yeah, so I can keep pushing it. Uh, so we can keep pushing this thing forward. Um, I know that uh, Michael came back from his trip um, and was talking about you guys already have a name for what you're going to do once a month. Boyardi and Beans. Boyardi and Beans. <laughs> I love it. And I asked, I was like, bro... Are you sure? I just literally pulled this out my ass. It oh, you like, said it or yeah. he said it? I said that. I was oh, like, okay. I literally pulled this out my ass. They're like, bro, I like it. I was like, all right. All right. Boyardi and beans. So he has like a can of Boyardi in his hand. And, bean. and he's the he's the bean holding it. A bean. So. <laughs> that's wild. No, nah, yeah, but uh, that's that's something that uh, you guys are going to be uh, working on that project mm-hmm. together. So that's going to be very fun and interesting. Can't wait for that Starling to come in, bro. That's hey. what's funny. Hey, he has another. He has another launch tomorrow. So it's gonna change the game, sir. Yeah, he has another launch tomorrow. Um, like I said, everything. like people can talk shit to me live now. Yeah, I can't wait for that. I can't wait to see how much people hate me. I want them to start creating those little, uh, those little stickers, like they do with Hassan and oh, like memes and shit. No, those chats, like they do with the. Yeah, be careful. I don't know. Does you that get, does this some... do it? Yeah, you probably can, but you get some crazy stuff in. Yeah, but yeah, it's 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 gonna people, be a learning curve. I, I just want people to put your glasses and say prismatic bullshit. Prismatic, <laughs> prismatic <laughs> bullshit. Oh shit! Yeah, bro, Jeff got them prismatic bullshits. I love these, man. They're so cool. They look all futury and shit. Yeah, I love these. Well, yeah, but we'll leave it off on that note, guys. Um, nothing too crazy again, too. Like I said, uh, project's coming up. Still can't reveal it, though. Nah. Yeah. Nah. It has to be a surprise. It has to be. 
Or take us home, Jeff. All right, <laughs> Milk and clock. Ass. Milk and clock. Yeah, yeah, right. What All right, fuck? guys. Thank you guys for joining us at the tabletop. If you guys want to watch our uh, see our episode, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to listen to our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to take a look at our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we're on YouTube, One Word Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clip channel and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll bring you to the four episodes. And we also have timestamps, so you can, can navigate throughout the page. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And also, leave us a comment and let us know what you want us to talk about. Maybe we can bring it up on our next topic. Um, guys, you guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and or day. Thank you. Thank-